that band knows how to energize a room, and today is an exciting day for Chicago State University. For those of you who don't know, it's finals week at Chicago State, and so I wanna publicly thank the student members of the cheer squad and the band for taking time out of their schedule and all the student athletes that joined us today in between their final exams. Today, without further ado, I want to introduce you to the Vice President of Athletics, Dr. Monique Carroll. <laughs> Dr. Carroll took the helm at Chicago State in September of 2022. Her main top priority was to find us a conference. And today, we are celebrating the culmination of that process. <laughs> Dr. Carroll has spent 15 years in college athletics, most recently the athletic director at Houston Tilson prior to that, uh, excuse me, South Carolina State. She's a fabulous leader. I'm pleased to announce this morning we'll start our program with Dr. Monique Carroll. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for this momentous occasion. Uh, I've, I've said something over the last 460 days. Uh, yes, I've counted. Uh, it's a great day to be a Cougar, and today is no different. It is a great day to be a Cougar. So I have some acknowledgments. I'm, I'm going to look at the notes, so I'll make sure I do not leave anyone out. Uh, but I want to thank our corporate sponsors uh, for seeing the vision and really investing in us, uh, Raising Cane's, Pie in the Sky Coffee, and Ticket Smarter. Uh, they've contributed financially to the support of all of our athletic programs. Uh, we are here today uh, because we've been offered and we've accepted conference membership invitation to the Northeast Conference. I'm really happy to say that Chicago State in South Beach style will be bringing our talents to the Northeast Conference. <laughs> Over the last 18 months, uh, so Chicago State University has been engaged in several conversations, meetings, phone calls, emails, trips, consultants, uh, in order to really make this happen for our student athletes. Uh, at the end of the day, two things really aligned, and that was opportunity and fit. Uh, I want to thank Commissioner Morris for your leadership of the Northeast Conference. Uh, your leadership with tenacity and leading uh, really made it a good fit for us, and we are happy to call the NEC home. Uh, I would like to acknowledge our head coaches, our support staff, and our student athletes. Uh, over the last year and a half, you've done something very difficult in this industry, and that is compete as a Division I independent. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your patience and your trust in the vision as we continue to pursue excellence here at Chicago State University. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, our consultant that helped us with this project, Herb Courtney, with Renaissance Search and Consulting. <laughs> I know we had many late night phone calls, emails, and the same to make sure we got this done. So I really appreciate your invaluable leadership and the way that you approach the work to help us get here today. Uh, if you are not familiar with conference realignment and membership invitations, uh, one of the things I can share with you is while the athletic directors are the ones that you all see day to day, uh, these decisions happen on a presidential level. Uh, so I want to take time to really just thank President Scott uh, for out of all the things that the president should be doing. She really carved out special time for Chicago State Athletics to make sure that this was a priority for not just myself, but for her. So for that, I really want to say thank you for getting us to today. The last thank you, I want to thank, I'll take privilege and thank my wife, uh, who now I'll have a little more free time because we're in a conference. Uh, but thank you for your patience and, and really uh, the late nights and the phone calls uh, and just allowing me the space to be great in my role here at Chicago State. Uh, so 
we'll join the Northeast Conference in 2024, uh, July 2024. It'll be official. Uh, we are excited about the opportunity to compete not only in the on the court but also in the classroom to be able to compete for Commissioner's Cups, to be able to compete for all academic awards, and for our student athletes here at Chicago State to be recognized for the great things uh, that they're already doing. And now we have the conference membership system in order to support them in that work. Uh, this keeps us on the right path as I continue to say pursuing excellence. Uh, this keeps us on the path as we look to expand our sports, including Division I football. All of these things were steps to get us to that day. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here today, and I want to introduce our next speaker, Danina Hughes, student athlete. I know she's going to introduce herself, so I don't want to say too <laughs> much, but student athlete and our SGA president here at Chicago State University. Hello, everybody. I want to thank you all for coming here. Thank everybody that's new to Chicago State and welcome you all to our home. So on behalf of the Cougars, I'd like to welcome Commissioner Morris because she's traveled far from New Jersey. And some of you might know that's a long flight here, but I want to thank her for coming here and to re reveal this exciting message. Dr. Carroll and President Scott, thank you for your tireless work. Um, it really does pay off, you can, and we can kind of see that come to fruition. Um, it's a pleasure being here to receive this message as well. As the university focuses on um, this new, new, well, new conference, it's exciting to see the changes of our athletic program, and it's exciting to be able to join the NEC. As a student athlete, we'll benefit from consistent travel schedules, as you guys may experience but we'll also prioritize our academics. The NEC will ensure us to continue to prioritize that as most of the Cougars know and most of the Cougars have been experienced at just going to the Learning Center and things of that sort. This is a huge opportunity for me and all you fellow Cougars out there because they'll show us our, we'll be able to demonstrate our dedicated hard work, compete for competitions, and also show our Cougar pride while creating new rivalries. Cougars, it's time to shine, and I can't wait to see you all perform in this new conference. It's a pleasure, and thank you all again. And now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our new commissioner and the fourth full-time commissioner of the NEC history, Noreen Morris. Before I go, I'd like to say she's in her 14th year within the NEC, and she has extensive background in the intercollegiate athletics. That's dating back to more than 25 years, so I'm only 20, and that's, that's a long time. <laughs> Without further ado, Commissioner Morris. Thank you, Dinina. Thank you for, um, for uh, my age. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, I am so excited to be here today to celebrate Chicago State University's acceptance into the Northeast Conference. This is a special day for the Cougar community and the entire NEC community. I'd like to thank President Scott and Monique Carroll for their leadership as well as the Board of Directors or the Board of Trustees here at Chicago State University. It is your leadership and your vision in getting us to here today is incredibly impressive. It is clear that Chicago State University is in good hands with leaders like these. And the NEC community is so thrilled to be part of the magic that you are building here on campus and in this community. The NEC presidents, uh, as Monique mentioned, this is a presidential driven decision, not only here on campus, but within, the, within our conference structure. Our presidents voted unanimously to offer acceptance or offer this invitation uh, to the NEC, and we're excited to activate a long-term partnership. The decision to add Chicago State uh, was driven in large part by the um, alignment with our NEC strategic plan goals. We have four goals within our strategic plan. The first goal is to increase brand awareness. 
With the addition of Chicago State, we are now in three of the top 10 media markets in the US. One, New York, three, Chicago, and eight, Boston. This increased exposure is going to be invaluable for our student athletes and our teams and for our institutions and for your institution to have uh, more exposure in the markets um, that can uh, appeal to new students uh, generally and to you know, future faculty and the like. The second goal is to enhance our student athlete experience. So not only will uh, joining the NEC give the Cougar student athletes an opportunity to uh, compete under one conference umbrella and to compete for NEC championships, but it also gives the rest of the NEC student athletes an opportunity to come and compete and visit this great city. This is a city I actually called home for 14 years. I truly understand the magnificence of New Jer uh, of Chicago, uh, New Jersey. I grew up in New Jersey. I'm back in New Jersey, but I truly understand and love the city of Chicago. So. Personally, um, this is like coming home for me as well. The third goal is to commit to the sport of basketball, which is the NEC's premier sport. <coughs> Last year, the NEC made international headlines when FDU beat number one seed Purdue in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. It was an amazing run for us, and it really enhanced the reputation of NEC basketball. And I know that with the addition of Chicago State and your beautiful basketball arena, uh, clearly signifies the commitment that Chicago State has made in its basketball programs. So we're excited to uh, compete here and, and compete in that great arena. And our fourth goal is to support uh, gender, excuse me, support diversity, equity, and inclusion. Our league is intimately involved um, with DE&I education and initiatives at the campus and conference level. And for us to partner with Chicago State, a predominantly black institution, will allow us to enhance and add to those efforts, um, not only in the playing fields, but within the community and academics, and we can do all sorts of sharing um, in, in the realm of, of institutional leadership. So we're very excited about the addition of Chicago State. And on the flip side, uh, it, it certainly appears that joining the NEC aligns really well with Chicago State Athletics' vision. And that vision has three tag words that I thought really resonated um, with, with this new partnership. And that's embrace, energize, and elevate. So with this new co conference partnership, not only can Chicago State embrace the traditions they have built over the many years that they've competed, but now they can embrace a new opportunity uh, and to build new relationships within the NEC. Second, uh, the Energize. Uh, joining the NEC will allow your fans and your student athletes and your entire campus community to energize around this new home and the, uh, the ability to compete for championships um, and to create rivalries. And then finally, um, being, becoming an NEC member will help elevate your student athlete experience. As I mentioned earlier, you, uh, your student athletes will now be able to compete for NEC championships and earn a chance to dance in the NCAA, NCAA tournaments through uh, winning NEC championships. So I cannot wait to, to celebrate the first Chicago State team that wins an NEC championship, ho hoists that trophy, and heads to the NCAA tournament. We are thrilled to welcome Chicago State Cougars to the NEC family. This is truly a win-win partnership, and we look forward to building long-lasting relationships and lifelong memories. And I would like to commemorate this historic moment to uh, we can uh, model our first <laughs> NEC gear, and we can get a group photo with these wonderful, and I'm gonna say it, women leaders, <laughs> yes? And I'll end with 
Let's go Cougars, let's go NEC. I want to uh, thank Noreen for uh, those remarks and thank uh, all of you all for being here today. It is very clear that it is a great day to be a Chicago State University Cougar. We are on the move. There are so many thank stakeholders to thank for this moment in time. I'd like to acknowledge in particular our student athletes. Could our student athletes stand here in the audience? athletes like the uh, ones you see standing, uh, the ones who are now in classrooms taking finals, and our head coaches who are here who have worked so hard for this moment in time. You have distinguished yourselves as members of the Cougar family, and for that, as your president, I say thank you. I'd also like to thank our director of intercollegiate sports, uh, Dr. Monique Carroll. Dr. Carroll has brought so much energy and leadership to this program, and I could not be more proud of her at this moment. It was written into her contract that this would be one of her key priorities as our leader, and she accepted the challenge, and she has done an incredible job. So on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Ch Chicago State University, who were unanimous in their vote to accept conference membership, and on behalf of our athletic department, our student athletes, our coaches, and those that support our program, I am thrilled as your president to accept this invitation to join the NEC. My top priority as a president is to strive what is, what is best for CSU and its students. This conference will help ensure an incredible future for our program. The strong alignment between the conference members and university in our values and mission made this an easy decision. We are joining a conference that not only offers a first class competitive experience, but also a conference that shares our commitment to supporting student athletes' holistic success and advancing the values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. You know that the landscape of collegiate sports is ever evolving. The mo the mo this move advances the university's position in that landscape. Our student athletes will access elevated athletic programming, and the NEC conference will help Chicago State reach a larger audience of potential students beyond the borders of the, our city. Our brand will have a bigger presence in major East Coast markets like Boston, New York, and Philadelphia. Thank you to the board of NEC for your unanimous approval, Commissioner Morris for your visit here today and your partnership, and thank you to our coaches and student athletes. Together, Cougars are reaching new heights. Thank you all for joining us. For the media that is present, these four ladies will be um, distributed in the room for one-on-one -on -one follow up questions. Thank you so much. It's a great day to be a Cougar. and. Noreen, thank you for welcoming us uh, um, on board. Thank you, and I, I, I was uh, missed to not thank the marching band. That was amazing. <laughs> so thank you for coming out today. And I, and I, I want to acknowledge one other person. I want to acknowledge the presen presence of Herb Courtney from Renaissance. Uh, Herb has been a partner with us for the last two years. He helped us uh, find Dr. Carroll as our, ne our new athletic director, and he also helped us with this process in a meaningful way. Thank you, Herb, for being here. We are adjourned. <laughs> Thank you.